Assalamu alaikum everyone my name is Sayyid Ahiba Bukhari welcome back to my channel the mat corner and today we are going to be discussing about the osteology of a scapular bone but with the 3d structure of a bone itself so uh, here's a skeleton and as you guys can see that the scapula is located over here marked in the green color so this is the scapular bone which is located on the posterior lateral aspect of the human body if we turn around the skeleton and this is a posterior side of the skeleton you guys can see clearly that this is a triangular bone located on the posterior lateral aspect of the human body so if we isolate the scapular bone itself so as you guys can see it is more like a triangular bone in shape which is located on the posterior lateral aspect of the human body so the scapular bone is having the two surfaces three border and the three angle as we have discussed earlier as i told you that if you take a close look on the scapular bone so the scapular bone is having a two surfaces the coastal surface or the anterior surface and the dorsal or the posterior surface of the scapula so how to differentiate between the coastal and the dorsal so the coastal surface or the anterior surface is more like a concave in shape so this is a concave in shape and having a fossa inside it which is called as a subscapular fossa which give origin to the subscapularis muscle now if we rotate the scapula and this is the posterior surface of the scapula is divided into two parts by the spine of the scapula so the upper part is called as the supraspinous and the lower part is called as the infraspinous and the infraspinous is comparatively large than the supraspinatus uh, so the supraspinatus have a fossa which is called as the supraspinous fossa and the infraspinatus have a fossa which is called as the infraspinous fossa which give to the which give origin to the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus muscle respectively now if we take a close look on the spine of the scapula so there is a tubercle which is called as a deltoid tubercle which provide the attachment to the deltoid muscle over here and the continuation of the spine of the scapula form the acromion process at the top over here now let's discuss about the border of the scapula so the scapula is having basically three borders superior medial and the lateral border so this is the superior border of the scapula bone which is having a notch over here which is called as a suprascapular notch the suprascapular notch is located on the superior border of the scapula which provide the passage to the suprascapular nerves now uh, let's take a look over the lateral border of the scapula so this is the lateral border of the scapula which is having a glenoid cavity on the top and rather than that it have a supraglenoid tubercle which is located just above the glenoid cavity and below it have the over here it have the infraglenoid tubercle which is located just below the glenoid cavity so supraglenoid tubercle above the glenoid cavity and infra means below the glenoid cavity now let's talk about the medial border of a scapula so the medial border of a scapula has nothing more prominent structure over here but it provide the origin insertion to some muscles which we will discuss later okay, now let's talk about the angle of the scapula so this is the superior angle of the scapula this is the inferior angle of the scapula and this over here which is having glenoid cavity is called as a lateral angle of the scapula lateral or glenoid angle so that's all about the osteology and important landmark of the scapula bone i hope you guys understand it very well and if you do so then make sure to like and subscribe to the mat corner see you in the next video take care bye bye allah hafiz